The following is a documentary completed by students for a field aquaculture course at Dalhousie University located in Halifax, Nova Scotia. It is not a paid advertisement. My name is Cassidy and I will be your narrator today. Near High River, Alberta, Canada, is a small commercial tilapia farm run completely on land. Alberta Tilapia Aquaponics sets the bar high for aquaculture not only within the country, but around the globe. Garrett Swanepoel sat down to talk to us about the efficiency of his family's farm. So our system was designed to recycle 99.75% of our water and we use uh, the aquaponics part of it to actually remove all of our nitrates. The swan poles are from Vrehe, KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa, where they ran a cattle farm. In 2008, they immigrated to Canada, where they quickly discovered that the quality of produce they were buying in local grocery stores was not what they were used to, so they began to grow their own. In the basement of their home, they set up a small-scale aquaponics system using Nile tilapia to supply the required nutrients to the produce. Once the fish started breeding, they began expanding their production, setting up new tanks until a few years later they built a greenhouse and an aquaponic system that supplies fresh produce to local grocery stores year-round. Today, Alberta Tilapia Aquaponics is the only tilapia hatchery in Canada and the largest supplier of tilapia fingerlings within the country. They grow cherry tomatoes, butter lettuce, peppers of all sorts, onions, and so much more. Apart from the hands-on work, they will also help you develop your own custom aquaponic system. And they work to educate the public on the sustainability of aquaponics through schools and media outlets. Within their own system, they breed white, blue, and a red hybrid tilapia. Tilapia is a tropical freshwater fish that has gotten a bad reputation for its culturing methods. It is widely believed that tilapia are grown in ponds full of waste from poultry and livestock in which they eat, causing a foul taste. At Alberta Tilapia Aquaponics, that is far from the truth. Broodstock are kept in a separate tank. The fertilized eggs are removed from the female's mouth and placed in an incubator where they are gently tumbled to help all of the eggs hatch. This promotes a higher quality fish as the females are not holding the eggs in her mouth for several days at a time, preventing her from eating. Once the eggs have hatched, yolk sac larvae fill the tank. Within a few days, they absorb their yolk sac and are commonly known as weaning larvae. They are kept in a tank for approximately four weeks at 28 degrees Celsius and fed a specific probiotic diet until they reach an inch in length. Now known as fingerlings, they are transported to the main system. The main system consists of 21 tanks with various ages of fish. As the fish grow, they are moved to different tanks in order to prevent cannibalism among the group. The fish are fed 3% of their body weight daily, and after about 7 months, the fish have reached a length of 6 inches where they are slaughtered and brought to market as either fillets or the whole fish. Back at the farm, the tanks are sterilized before introducing a new colony. Due to the fact that this is a closed system, the fish do not require vaccinations because diseases do not get introduced to the cycle. Um, When we do find something that is going into our fish tanks, um, usually that tank is isolated, the water is tested, and that way they can determine what it is. Most of the diseases in tilapia is very easy to cure, and um, we cure it by changing the pH of the salinity of the water. Um, By raising the water pH to about eight, um, that actually helps them to heal faster and we wait for them to naturally heal. And once the system actually tastes clear again, because once we have a a tank that is isolated, the government of Alberta will actually test us every three days to ensure that you see what's the progress of the virus and if it is dying off or if it's progressing to something higher. At that stage, once we have the all clear from them, we will reintroduce Um, the pH level, so we'll drop it down to 6.8 over a period of two weeks, and that system with our tank will then be reintroduced into our system. Since there are no chemicals added, the water goes through only three filters before being used in the greenhouse. 
the greenhouse acts as a fourth stage of filtration, removing the nitrates, phosphates, and other minerals from the water. The plants use these nutrients to grow and photosynthesize while the clean water is returned back to the aquaculture system. The firm uses about 50 gallons of water a week in order to run the entire operation, leaving them with a relatively small carbon and environmental footprint. When solid waste builds up in the system, it is passed through a UV filter and then spread on fields used to grow silage for sheep that are also raised on the farm. The farm is Certified Naturally Grown, or CNG. In Canada, there are no inspectors or regulations that aquaponic systems can meet in order to be classified as certified organic. CNG has a zero tolerance chemical policy for farmers. This includes testing the water quality, fish membranes, plumbing and plants every few weeks in order to maintain the certification. Despite the challenges the Swanapoles have faced, from starting over here in Canada to more recently a fire that claimed the farmhouse, Alberta Tilapia Aquaponics have built a strong foundation for shaping land aquaculture of the future, and they are eager to share the information they've learned with everybody. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the farm at any of the sources listed here. I would like to thank Garrett Swanepoel for taking the time to answer all of our questions and showing us around the farm, as well as for his patience with all of my emails. I would also like to thank our professor, Diego Ibera and our TA, Jessica Bennett, for continuing this course despite everything COVID-19 and for putting such a fun twist on it so we were able to visit farms around the globe.